like September. Yeah. She burns through the night like an ember. And all those things we try to get in, I remember. But we say we all fine. What's up, y'all? What's up? It's your boy Cap coming at y'all with another video here. This one is about STDs. Are y'all contributing and helping spread STDs amongst the world? STDs, as in saying, sexually transmitted demons. Are y'all doing that? Are y'all out here having intercourse with multiple women or multiple men and um, spreading the STDs amongst each other, as in saying, if you sleep with multiple men, if you sleep with multiple women, you also sleep with whoever they slept with in the past. You also have those spirits that lived in them now join you. They have been transferred to your body. That's right. That's right. So you're sleeping with a person that has a whole bunch of evil spirits and demons in them. Guess what? And you are now having intercourse with them. Some of y'all having unprotected sex with them as well. Transferring them through sexual intercourse. Now you have those same demons. And evil spirits. Roaming within your temple. Your body. Controlling your thoughts. Controlling your attitude and mood swings. Have you noticed how people get angry? They real angry all the time. They mad all the time. Always into it with people. Those people, it's a good chance those people have a lot of transmitted demons in them through having sexual intercourse with multiple people, as in sin. Have y'all known a man or a woman that has relationship after relationship after relationship? I'm talking back to back. Get out of one, jump in another one. Get out of one, jump in another one. You see what I'm saying? As they spread the STDs around just like that, inheriting that person's demons and evil spirits or whatever robes in them and passing all them to the next man or the next woman. And now they all have all these evil things roaming in them. You know? And people, if you're very spiritual and you're following God, you have to be careful, man. If you see people like this and you know people like this, please be careful on your decisions of having sexual intercourse with them because it could be a bad one for you. It could be a bad one for you. They could be wolves in sheep's clothing now. They might look good on the outside, but on the inside they full of deep demons, evil. And you just attracted to their physical features, not their mental features. You see what I'm saying? Then you transfer all that into you, and then it can deter your walk with Jesus and for Jesus due to you out here lusting over physical attributes of a woman or a man. Goes both ways, women, men. Be careful. Sex is real sacred, man. It's two souls becoming one when you're having sexual intercourse, man. It's very, very intimate. That's why it feels so good when you do it, because it's an intimate time between you and your mate. And at the same time, if y'all both out here full of evil, anger, drama, you pass that on to your mate, and now all of a sudden y'all getting into it, y'all can't stand each other, y'all out here cheating on your partners and stuff. That's because y'all are swapping and exchanging those same demons amongst each other in evil spirits. Be careful, y'all. Watch who you sleep with. Because you don't know what they have inside of them until you really get to know them. And it will come out and manifest itself on who the person is. But at the same time, some people just don't care. They just don't care, y'all. They're just looking at the physical. They're not mentally trying to get to know this person. And see where their head's at. So y'all be careful. 
don't contribute to help the spread of these STDs, y'all. Don't get these partners that are drama-filled, always into it with people. Y'all stay away from those kind, man. Don't don't look lustful towards them people. Don't want just to have sex with somebody. That's when you could really mess yourself up. And think about it. Why you think it's so hard for some people, women, to leave men that beat them? Have y'all noticed that? And what they say? I loved him. I love him. Why you think she can't leave him, man? Because all them demons and evil spirits that was in that man is in her now. So now they're both, they're two of a kind. She still have a little more good in her, but he don't. Them demons is telling her to stay. Won't let her go. So she'll continue to get beat. Continue to let him cheat on her. On her. And continue to do what he wants her to do. Because now those same demons that was STD, sexually transferred, are now roaming within her. As well as the male. A woman that just dogs you, cheats on you, talk bad about you. But you can't leave her. It go both ways, even for the man. And that's the main reason. It's not love. They say it's love, but it's not. They just can't shake them due to these demons they're sharing amongst each other. Or the demons the male is sharing with her or she's sharing with him. Y'all be careful who y'all sleep with. Look at the signs. Look at a person's life. Look out. Look at the person's walk. You can, you can, you can discern this yourself. And tell if a person is full of all this. And tell if a person has a lot of this in them. Because it manifests itself every day. Open your third eye. You'll be able to see this. Look at the person. Talk to them. Look at their life. It sits right there. Talk to them. Get to know them personally, mentally, before physically. To understand what you're doing and what you're getting yourself into. Don't just look at them lustfully just because they have a body or they're, they're beautiful or, or they have a lot of material things. These are things that attract you to do something very wrong by sleeping with them and transferring, getting, transferring all this into you just because of the lust or the material parts of a situation. This is your boy Cap. I got love for the ones that got love for me. Y'all know I roll with the Trinity. Because the STDs are real. They're just not syphilis, gonorrhea, herpes, AIDS, and all that. They're demons and evil spirits as well. And I'm out.